Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Vollmer. I'm going to teach you some soccer skills today. So these are just some basic skills um, that every soccer player spends a lot of time doing to become a better soccer player. So first of all, obviously soccer, you use your feet, except the goalie uses their hands, all right? And there's all different sides of your foot you can use when you play soccer. You use the inside of your foot, the outside of your foot, bottom of your foot, okay? And you could even use your heel and back heel it, okay? Um, a lot of times I'll have uh, my soccer team, sometimes they just pass the ball back and forth like this. We call this foundation, okay? That's something you can do with the soccer ball just to get familiar with having the ball at your foot. You can also do toe touches, so trying to pretend the soccer ball is an egg and just do light touches, okay? Um, but then, during the game of soccer, in order for your team to maintain possession of the ball, you have to have crisp, accurate passes. And the way you want to do that is the most accurate pass you can make, keeping the ball on the ground, is using the inside of your foot, okay? So when you use the inside of your foot, it's important to keep your ankle locked. And in order to keep your ankle locked, you want to bring your knee up and toe up. And swing your leg almost like a pendulum here, okay? You want to hit the middle of the soccer ball, okay? If I hit the bottom of the soccer ball, the ball is going to go in the air, okay? I want my non-kicking foot to be about a foot away from the ball and in line with the front of it. I don't want to be way back here kicking the ball because that's guaranteed to go up in the air, okay? And this is just awkward and off balance. So you want your non-kicking foot in line with the front of the soccer ball. Okay, so knee up, toe up, ankle locked when using the inside of your foot to pass the soccer ball. When you receive the soccer ball, same idea. So I'm going to pass the ball to Miss Neuhaus. She's going to pick her foot up, she's going to give with it, and then she can pass it back to me. Okay, these are great passes for keeping the ball on the ground and keeping possession, okay? Whenever the soccer ball is in the air, it just causes it to be a lot more difficult to receive it. So we're just practicing keeping it on the ground. Ready, Miss Noy House? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, look at that. She even kept it on the white line. Awesome. Okay, so um, <laughs> we're going to try that one more time because I'm not sure. Did Mr. Kilbadger, did you get me kicking yes. it? Yes, yep. Okay, so one more time. We'll do it in slow mo. Non kicking foot. Knee up, toe up. Follow through. There we go. No, I can keep it better on the line than I can. Nice. And then we receive it. Okay. So now sometimes in soccer, you do need the ball to go further. Okay. And maybe you're going to try to get it over a defender's head. So you want to chip the ball. Okay. This is going to be a lot more difficult for your teammate to receive it. Uh, but sometimes you do need to to get the ball in the air. Same idea, you want your non-cooking foot in line with the front of the soccer ball. You want to lean back, but now instead of hitting the middle of the soccer ball, I want to hit underneath the soccer ball, lift it, and use this part of my foot. Now the turf is wet, so we're going to be careful, Miss Neuhaus, because we don't want to do one of these and land on our butt, okay? So nice, easy chip. Miss Neuhaus, you could just pass it on the ground back to me if you don't want to chip it, okay? How are we doing on time, Mr. Kilpatrick? Good? Okay. So, another way you may see people and just the goalies in soccer, but we've been doing a lot of foot golf, right, up in the fields for those students that are in person. We've been playing putt-putt golf. Um, we haven't been punting the ball with putt-putt golf, but when we've been doing um, foot golf, we've been punting it. So another way you can kick the soccer ball, what the goalies do, is they punt it. So they take a step, I'm gonna use my laces now, and a lot of times soccer players will use their laces when they strike the ball on goal to use power. So when you shoot on goal, soccer players are gonna use their laces. So I'm gonna use my laces to punt the ball, I'm gonna keep the ball out in front, I'm gonna step and follow through. Alright, okay. Um, anything else Mr. K or we're good on time? All right, well, thank you so much for joining us for day one of soccer. I hope to see you soon. Bye.